my loves, I have a beauty haul. Another one. I know I have to stop shopping. It's dangerous. This is the time of year that is extremely, incredibly dangerous for me. And they keep sending me emails with sales. Now Black Friday's coming on. Cyber Monday. Oh my God, I have to stop. I have to, I should just shut my email off. It would save me a lot of money. I'd save money from Wi-Fi and I'd save money from all the crap that I'm buying. But anyways, I did get an email from, um, Trisha Paytas perfume. And I have been, I've been wanting this perfume since she came out with it. I love supporting people and I love her. I think she's so much fun. So I was sitting with my mom and watching Trisha Paytas with my mother is a hoot because my mother is all into drama. She loves drama, lifetime, soap operas, anything that has drama, she like soaks it in, sucks it up and loves it. So, and she also loves blondes. She just like, she loves Pamela Anderson and she loves, she loves, if you're like a blonde Marilyn Monroe, Anna Nicole, she loves you. And so she just puts Trisha Paytas into that. It's so funny because I was watching viral videos. I was like, Ma, you got to see these. She couldn't even sit down. I should have recorded her watching them because she was like, oh my God, she needs to be on TV. I would watch her. I want to see this every, like she wanted, she wants to see half an hour segments of you on television all the time. Like if, Trisha Paytas, if you happen to see this, my mother loves you and thinks that you should be on Lifetime. But because she loves you, she bought me the perfume. I got an email and the Trisha autographed bottle. Just so neat. I do. I love Trisha Paytas. I think she's so entertaining and so fun to watch. And I just, it takes me away from everyday life. And I love watching her. She's just a go-getter. And I, I think that's awesome. I love go-getters. But anyways, this is not about Trisha Paytas. But the perfume, I got an email. It was on sale. And it was for the signed bottle. So I couldn't resist it. My mom got it for me. Because like I was telling you, she loves her. She's like, oh yeah, no, she's the blonde bombshell. She's the next Anna Nicole. I'm like, okay. She pretty much is. She's pretty awesome. But look at the bottle. It's signed. And it's so pretty. And it smells good. It smells like a flower shop. I don't know. I can't, couldn't put my finger on what the smell, like what it smelled like. But my mom's like, it smells like inside of a flower shop. Like when you go to the flower shop and you go inside, that's what it smells like. So I picked that up and I just got it in the mail today. So that was really cool. And I've sprayed like 15 sprays on me. So it's all I smell. I also got this, how do you say, Anne Sue? Sui? I, I have no idea. But these are three little perfumes. These are so freaking cute. Let me show you. They were at Sephora. They were at 25 bucks for all three. So I was like, you know what? I need them. Well, I don't really need them. But just thought they were cute. Look at the little perfumes. So I got like the little flower on the top and they're purse sprays. And each one has a different scent and each one is colored to the markings of their bottle. So you can see there's the pink, the yellow, and the green. So Fairy Dance, Flight of Fancy, and Secret Wish. I actually wanted to try a couple of their perfumes, her perfumes anyways. So I really thought that that was a good deal just to get the little three pack to keep it for traveling. Uh, another thing I had to get from Sephora was the gem little mirrored compact and this did not get good reviews because they say it's a mirror like it's a um, mirror well it's a mirror yeah it's a mirror it's a freaking mirror but they say it's um a sticker but i don't see the sticker part like mine doesn't look like a sticker it just does not look like it's a sticker on there it looks like it's sealed on this and it's just i don't know i don't know what people are expecting for 18 dollars that might sound rude, but I mean, $18, it is not cheap by any means, but it's just, it's in this little glittery case. I love gem. I'm an 80s baby, come on. And I, I had to have it. So I love collecting little palettes like that. The makeup compacts, I like collecting compacts, so I needed it in my life, and I bought it. And that, that was it. A couple other things I got. I purchased some stuff from Ulta because, again, sales are killing me. And I really wanted the Showstopper palette. I love the round palettes from Tarte. I've said it before. They're really nice. I have two other ones. So this is my third one. I think I have them all, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if they've come out with more. I don't know. But this is the Showstopper. It has, like, snake skin. But I'm going to tell you, like, this packaging is cheap-ass packaging. Like, I am not impressed with this packaging at all. Like, it seems like, like, like a kid like a kid's makeup palette or something. It's just really cheap plastic. And then, you know, the products, though, are beautiful. The eyeshadows, I swatched them. They look gorgeous. I love Park Avenue Princess, and I like the highlighters. This one is champagne pink, which is nice, because I don't think I have champagne pink. And then a nice blush. So it was on sale for 24 bucks. You can't beat it, because it's originally 40 And I almost bought it on the... I almost bought it during the 20% off sale for Sephora, so I'm glad that I didn't because I got a better deal at Ulta. And while I purchased that, I picked, I purchased the Hask, I don't know, I've never, I don't know if I've tried, I might have tried like sample sizes of these things, but this is the Minoy Coconut Oil Deep Conditioner Mask. 
and I think they were like 40% off when I purchased. It smells so good. It smells like straight up coconut. It smells so good. And who the hell doesn't need conditioning masks? I need them. All my hair is fried. And then I got the leave-in spray. I think each of them were like three something. It was sick how cheap it was. So, and also, this is because of Emily Noel. Like, YouTube makes me do it. I need to stop watching YouTube. I have to cut off my cable and stop watching YouTube. Yeah, I do. But I got the Triple Moisture Winter Berry Creme Brulee little hemp lotion. And she talked about it in one of her videos. And then I saw it on Ulta and I was like, <sighs> YouTube made me do it. There goes that next box. Another shit falling to the ground, but that's okay. All right, we're going to go into Target now. I just, um, Target has free shipping until the end of the year. So you can, like, order whatever you want get free shipping. I think that that's pretty cool. Sorry about the noise. But I had to try these, the pumpkin spice lip balm. Holy shit, anybody who likes pumpkin spice, hurry up. Hurry up and go to Target.com because this lip balm is is unfreaking believable. I ended up purchasing two extras just to have a backup. So I purchased two singles and then one of these sets because they do have this little set. It has vanilla bean and pumpkin spice and it's a little cheaper than if you buy them singly. And then another limited edition was the mint cocoa, which is okay. I like it. I'm not crazy about it, but I like it. So I ordered those off Target because I really wanted to try them and the pumpkin spice I ended up ordering more because I loved it that much. Now is Nordstrom's. <laughs> so let's get on this. I'm sorry if I'm fiddling with I'm fiddling with my hair. I don't know. I'm not even in the mood really to film today, so I should have probably waited, but let's get it done. Let's get it done, right? So I ordered a few things from Nordstrom's when they had their buy three mascaras. One of them get you get free. I think they have that every year. So you just purchase three mascaras and one of them will be free no matter what kind they are. This isn't a mascara, but this is why I purchased from Nordstrom's. I got the Clinique Little Tiny Travel Size Moisture Surge Overnight Mask. I like face masks, and I just thought that would be neat to try, especially since it's small. You don't invest in, like, a big one. You just try a small one, and if you like it, you can invest in the big one. And if you don't, that, not too much of a loss. I think it was, like, 8 bucks for that. And then the mascaras that I bought, I decided I didn't need any mascara, but I was going to order anyways. So I decided to buy mascara that I kind of needed, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Didn't really need it, but I ordered it anyways. Um, the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. My eyes are really tiny, so it's hard, really hard to get mascara under my eye, like on these tiny little eyelashes. It will, I will look like Alice Cooper, no matter how hard I try, because the brushes are all too big, and they just, they get... They make a mess, and then once I rub on my under eyes, I have circles and puffiness as it is, and it just intensifies it. So then I look like I've been partying all night, and I didn't sleep, and I had a really long night, rough night, and yeah, and that's what I look like. All because I tried to put mascara on. No, that's too much work. So, the little Clinique Bottom Lash. This is the tiniest little, like, this is a tiny, I wish, let me show you a right, like, here is Lash Domination. <laughs> And then there's that. So you can see, like, it's definitely very small. So I got two of them. I got black and I got black brown. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. It is super cute. Look at the packaging. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it if it focuses? Isn't that pretty? It's pretty. And then it's just like the tiniest, little, idiest, meaniest, microscopic. I mean, it is so cute. Look how cute I am. Look at that though. It's so small. It's, I think, I haven't tried it yet, but I think that this is going to do the job. Again, let me just show you Lash Domination, which is a good mascara. I actually like that mascara a lot. From Bare Minerals. And then here's the Clinique. So, do we see, do you see that? That's humongous difference. So you can see where I'm saying like this Alice Cooper. This might be normal. We're going to go for the normal look. Hopefully that will work. Maybe I will do a review on that if it does work. So that's the black brown. It looks brown to me. And then I got black. I figured it would be good, like, if I'm doing a, real, a darker look, I'd want the black. But when I'm going more natural, I'd want the brown. And I had to get something free, and I didn't want to spend, like, more on one. Those were only, I think, $10, $11 a piece. They're pretty inexpensive for a full-size mascara. They're tiny, but... I got the MAC False Lashes, and this is just a tiny one. They have these travel sizes for $10 at um at Nordstrom's. They have a whole crap load of mascaras for $10. So I like the deluxe size ones. I haven't opened this, and I'm not going to. I just bought it because of the tube. Uh, just the packaging. I thought it was cute. 
and it's yeah back mac false lashes so they have a lot of them that you could try in the little itty bitty sizes like that which they work for me because they dry up you got to get rid of mascaras the quickest more than anything else so the little ones i think that they're great instead of like i said i don't even know if i'm gonna like that mascara so why spend 18 or 20 dollars or whatever the hell price it cost Okay, now anyways, with that Clinique purchase, because if you purchased anything $26 in Clinique, you got this little bag free. Isn't it cute? You got the bag free and you got a bunch of shit inside. So I'm just going to quickly show you the stuff that I got inside. I got a liquid facial soap, a decent size. This I wanted to try. This is like the main reason I purchased that Clinique. I purchased this little mask to get it over, to get it to $24 so I can get this for free because I wanted to try this little chubby stick. Isn't that cool? I mean, for free. I'm all about free. Look at that. That is really nice. And it blends out pretty. Like, Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I can't wait to use that. I kind of forgot I had this stuff because I meant to haul it and then I put it aside and I forgot I bought it. And it was like Christmas when I saw it again. I was like, oh, hey, yeah, okay. And then the other thing in there was Clinique Rinse Off Solvent Eye Makeup Remover. This stuff really works good, so I was happy to get that. And another mascara and a primer. This little duo is freaking stinking cute. So it just has um, high impact mascara from Clinique. Clinique mascaras usually impress me and I think that's the one that I like. And then I have lash building primer and I believe I've tried that before but I forgot how it works. So we will go and try that again. And then the last thing that was in this little Clinique bag is this little quad of eyeshadows. And I haven't, I haven't swatched it yet. The colors are so, so pretty. This is in Morning Java. They're really pretty, like a beige, a gold, and then like brownies and a, like a rosy brown. But I think I'm going to give that away in a friend mail. I don't know. So I haven't opened that. And then I think that's pretty much it. I got an Erno Laz, Laz, what is it? Lazio? Lazio? I don't know. Some eye, eye cream, eye gel, and then a little Jo Malone fragrances. I love the samples from Nordstrom's. I love Nordstrom's. And then what else? There's one other thing, and this is from TJ Maxx. I have said this before, TMI, I don't give a shit if it's TMI or not, I get itchy armpits from deodorant, and that's disgusting. Nobody wants itchy armpits. Itching them is disgusting. Everything about it is just, I don't like it, and I don't, I don't like it, so we're just going to end it at that. I saw this botan is it botanical societies, socialites, I don't know, can I spell probably, not? I should go back to school. It's an all-natural deodorant. They had a whole bunch of all-natural deodorants at TJ Maxx. And a lot of them, though, when I was looking at the ingredients, they didn't look too natural to me, I'm going to be honest. And a lot of them had talc in it. And I was like, hmm, I, I don't think that's going to agree with me for some reason. So this one did not have talc. This one had very minimum, minimal, minimal ingredients. I don't know if you can even, I don't know if you could stop it and see the ingredients, but it's a eucalyptus, lemon eucalyptus. And that sounds almost like it wouldn't smell good. You can see but this thing just smells really good. It's like fresh. It works good. It does not make my armpits itch. Yay. And that even sounds gross. Is it just me or does it just, it just sounds armpits. The word armpits is kind of disgusting. But yeah, I don't like that. It's not cute and <laughs> I've had enough. So that actually works. That is the only one besides the fortune cookie soap, which I didn't haul. I'm going to open up my drawer and I'm just going to show it to you. I bought the famous. This smells so good. Famous smells so good. I would... Mm. I mean, I wish, I wish I had more things with that scent. But then once you get something as a deodorant, you kind of don't want it as anything else. I don't know. But I did buy this. It was expensive. It's like $12 and like $7 shipping for deodorant. But no itching. So we're good. I think, right? We're good? Okay. So that is my beauty haul. I have to stop shopping, but I cannot promise I will because Black Friday is like two days away, a day away. I have to stop. Plus, I just yesterday ordered the damn Gwen Stefani palette. I have I have major issues, but I love it all my stuff, and I just I choose what I buy, and I love makeup, and I love beauty, and I'm so happy my mother bought me this. This is so cool, Trish. Trish perfume. You know you're a YouTube like you're YouTube obsessed when you have Trish perfume, but she's so awesome. So many blessings to all. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I'm almost at a thousand subscribers, and I know. To some people that might not sound like that much to me it sounds like a whole bunch and I think it's so awesome and I think every single one of you I just love this so much it's like it's creeping me out of my shell it's I don't know it's I like making videos so I'm so glad that you guys enjoy watching me and I'm going to leave it at that it's under 15 minutes I think I did good for my yap 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 and yeah so lots of love many blessings see you later